Hello and welcome back to our sustainable journey. I'm Steve and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna play with these guys. So last week we needed to get some dog food from Chewy and so they had like this free shipping thing if you spend over a certain dollar amount or something like that. And I'm like, oh, let's get some black soldier flies because I haven't seen any yet in the compost piles um, or in the CFTs that we have in here. And so I don't remember what it was like five bucks or something. Um, and it was enough to get us some free shipping on stuff. So I got two packages of black soldier flies. So black soldier flies, basically they look like giant maggots. I'm gonna open this bad boy up carefully. Hopefully I don't spill them all over the place. And I will show you what they look like. The name is very misleading because they're not like um, soldiers. They're just really good composters. Oh, come on now. Okay, here they are. So they're at various ages. Um, and most of them seem to have survived the journey, but they kind of look like big maggots, right? So that's them. They're in some sawdust right now, it looks like, or a little bit of frass probably. Their frass is their poop. So we've got worms that make castings. Um, the uh, black soldier fries flies make frass. Um, other animals make dung. It's just all fancy terms for poop. It is poop. So what we want to do is we want to set up a black soldier fly farm because we're going to feed these to the chickens. We're also going to use them to compost and eat some of the food scraps that we get. So they're very, very simple things to set up. So if you have one of these, these are the, these are the totes we used for the worm farm. I'm going to use the exact same thing. So what you do is I put a little bit of some old, with some grain that went bad for our chickens um, from the old gravity wagon. So when we cleaned that out, we just kept it aside because I knew I was going to use it for something, either the worms or these guys. And so we're going to put this in the bottom. I'm gonna put some food scraps in the bottom, cover it up a little bit, um, and that'll be it. Uh, they will chow through this stuff. They're actually better um, consumers than the worms. And then we build these little ramps. So what happens is they wanna get out of the food when they move on to their the next part of their life cycle. So the life cycle is basically um, babies, they grow up, they get, they get darker. So once they get, they'll get black and they'll get a lot bigger than this. They'll be about an inch long. Um, I don't think we have any that are that big. Um, and then they crawl up the ramp and then I'm gonna put another tote here and they will fall into that tote and die, essentially. Um, and at that point, we can feed them to the chickens. What some of them are gonna be used for is, I'm gonna get a mosquito net. It's supposed to arrive today or tomorrow. I don't have it yet. Um, these guys got here first, so I figured I'd get it set up. But a mosquito net to keep the flies in. And to keep, I don't think I have any cardboard in here. We shred a lot of it, but to keep the, the uh, flies breeding and, and making more eggs and more black soldier flies, you create um, like a, a place for them to lay their eggs. And that's basically corrugated cardboard. You put it up top, so I just put it like here or here, above the food. They like to lay their eggs above the food. Um, and so that's what we'll do is we'll set up some egg laying stations, I guess, um, above the food. And then the babies drop onto the food, they grow, they, they go through the life cycle all over again. So I'm gonna grab some food scraps, toss them in here, 
Um, we'll get this covered. We'll get these guys in here. And then I will show you the final setup in just a minute. First bin I open, banana peels, orange peels, strawberries. This is perfect. So I'm just gonna take this one and put it in the bottom of, not all of it, uh, but put some of it in the bottom of this bin. And then we'll see. So we'll get them in there, right? So they're gonna start chowing down. See them all climbing around. So you've probably seen these in your worm bins, if you have worm bins. Um, they're good guys. They're good composters. All right, so let me get some of these food scraps and we'll get them covered. Okay, it's as, honestly, it's as simple as this. So we've got the tray for them to fall into, or the bin, um, the wood planks for them to climb up, and the food scraps, and there's a few in there. I'm gonna put some more in there. So we got two bins, we'll, we'll cover all that up. And let them do their thing, we'll check on them um, multiple times a day because we're out here in the barn where all the chickens are. Um, and I will show you what the, um, I guess the trap for the eggs. So what I'm going to do is, if, if you can see the edge of curated cardboard. So I'm going to cut this box that they came in up and we'll use this, um, to make a trap for the female um, black soldier flies to lay her eggs in. So um, it'll make it easy. We'll put it right above the food. That way they know exactly where to lay eggs. Um, and then it's kind of a, it feeds itself. So I'll show you that in just a second. This is probably the cheapest looking thing ever, but this, it works. I, I do it every year uh, above my compost piles to grab some more black soldier flies. So you basically just cut up the, cardboard. Um, I'll put rubber bands around it to hold it in place. And then we'll just stick it up in a corner like that. Um, she'll lay eggs in there. They'll drop down in here, eat the stuff, climb up, uh, climb up the, the bins, fall in there to die, or to um, move on to the next life cycle essentially. Um, but then we can take the ones that, that don't make it or don't become flies and feed them to the chickens because chickens love these these are a great treat they're packed full of protein um, some countries people eat them uh, we're not there yet in the united states um, but that's a simple an incredibly simple black soldier fly farm you do not need to spend any money um, on any of this actually we just bought the soldier flies to get free shipping so all of this is reclaimed or reused from something else. Um, and it's a great way to get a, a little treat for your chickens or to break down some food scraps if, you know, not that these are any easier to deal with than worms or any more fun to look, look at, but there you go. Black soldier flies, a pest for your worm bins, sort of, but they do really good work and we like them very much, so. So yeah, there you go. Black Soldier Fly Farm. Simple. Take, took me 20 minutes to set up at most.